We shape our buildings, thereafter our buildings shape us. We shape our buildings, thereafter our buildings shape us. Who we are is significantly determined by the built environment that we live in. The real power of architecture is that I'm having a conversation with someone and I'm feeling really great and friendly and it's a nice warm conversation because there's a wonderful environment around me that's just making me feel relaxed and open. It's not just a piece of real estate. This is where lots of people are going to be living. How can we make their life better? Fulfill the dreams they have. Why are they moving here? What is it they value? What do they want? How can we make that just as intense and as wonderful and, and as much what they want as we possibly can? There were a number of things that we felt like were absolutely critical in making this as good as it could be. The first was the topography. And this is just listening to the land. This beautiful piece of land that juts out is curved topography, slopes down, pretty steep slope, from the road up on the top to the lake down below. And we just said, okay, topography, you've been here forever, geology, God made you this way. We're not about to argue with that. So we just laid these buildings in exactly like the topography told us to, just running them long along the lines of the topography. And that way, we're not interrupting the flow of the land, the movement of the land, and it also allowed us to keep just as many trees as we possibly could. The second thing was view. We knew that people were coming here for retreat. They were getting away from the city. And here is this beautiful, calm, peaceful view. The water, the hills, the horizon, the sky. And we want to give just as much of that view as possible. So here we wanted everybody to get that long view and every single unit in there, every single unit. No one looks into somebody else's bedroom. No one looks across at somebody else's terrace. Everybody gets the big long view in their living room and in their master bedroom. The third thing was sun. And uh, luckily, the slope of the land and the view is toward the south. So we had the south light all day today, the west, we're just losing it in the west now in the afternoon. The idea was to get that south light for everyone. And the great thing about south light is that you can use horizontal sun shading and that keeps it out totally in the summertime when we don't want the sun at all. But you can get a little warmth, especially on a terrace or something like that in the winter time, which extends the amount of time you can feel comfortable being outside. The fourth thing was privacy. You know, when people get a retreat away from the city, they don't want to be looking smack into somebody else's unit. So all of these buildings fan out in such a way that no one sees anyone else's. You know, when you got that big view, you're not looking at anyone else's window. And these sort of piers of the wood pieces that you see right above here, those are to separate people's terraces and their units so that they give give a sense of privacy. And when you're in there, you don't even know you have neighbors. You've got this beautiful, beautiful long view and completely private to you. Next thing is community, because we did hope that people would also feel like they wanted to be neighborly. And uh, this area down here, which I think will attract a wonderful neighborliness, uh, having a place where you can have a party. Hey, it works pretty good for a party, yeah? You know, just a really convenient place where you can have a, a, a sense of a community that's here. And not only here, but also that little lane on the other side of the buildings where the garage is on one side and garage is on the other side. And instead of a big parking lot and it's hot and when I get out of my car and I see my neighbor and they get out of their car, but you're just like, ha, and you're running in because it's too damn hot. It's not pleasant to be out there and have a chat. But we made this little lane so that they're actually, it is shady. That's on the north side of the building. We have the shadow from the building. That's where all the circulation happens. That's where people are coming and going from their garages to their units. And we made these sort of pleasant walkways and stairwells and good landscaping up in there so that there's a nice little sense of community up there as well. 
And the final thing, the sixth thing, is that it also is really about being indoor-outdoor. Uh, when you get up and look at those units, absolutely go out on that terrace because this is way more than just a little token balcony. It's a real room to be outdoors and to encourage people to really enjoy the fresh air, the beautiful light, the great scenery, uh, and to be outdoors to do that. So even if your unit's on the second or third floor, you're still going to get that beautiful terrace outside. Now, the sum of all that, I think and I hope, is that people move into this, they wanted a retreat from the city. When they get here, instead of getting what you're going to get, I'm sorry, but in a lot of the developments comparable around here, instead you get a place that really has a sense of place. You feel like you're in this beautiful environment. You get the peace, the restful quality of this landscape, and you really get that sense of retreat. Now, I believe that makes a positive difference in people's lives. That's what makes me excited about being an architect. Making people's lives better. Feeling like uh, the world's a better place because we cared about that little bit of the physical environment. Thank you very much.